Hi guys, my name's Dan Smerald. I'm here at the Shooting Lodge with Gunroom TV. They've been very kind to invite me down here today to do a walkthrough of my safe. I've been shooting on and off since I was 12. Uh, I shoot various disciplines. As you can see, I do almost everything under the sun. I'm based in Cardiff, but I go to Sevenside, um, go around some other clubs in the area for PSG and for um, uh, mini rifle. Well, mini rifles going to be built. Uh, I'm hoping to do more at Roundhouse Firearms with working with or going to KFC, going to Bisley when I hopefully get the time off. So yeah, let's get started. I um, think the one to get started with is one everyone kind of see the Marmite with them is my Winchester 94. I had this made with Edward Lee at Western Shooting Supplies in South Wales. He's a fantastic gunsmith, great guy to, if you want classic American lever guns and um, cowboy action guns, fantastic stock he has in store. So this is um, a receiver for a Winchester 94. Um, it's been fully customized as you can tell. The um, rear stock here has been modified so it takes an AR-15 buffer tube. And obviously I've got some Magpul furniture on there. Some people hate it, some people think it's a great idea because you're able to put a cheek riser on here easily. You can just get up and on your target pretty easily. You can adjust it for yourself, which is always great for various people who I give this out to. Um, it's got a little rail on top for a Vortex Viper. Fantastic for the distances I shoot this to. Um, the rail has got a bit of weight to it, this gun, but it's absolutely smooth as glass to run. He did a great job on the internals and uh, had it Cerakoted black and tungsten, which is a theme I keep for a lot of my guns. I like that subtle color. And funny enough, I have, um, thank you to Alistair Calibre Innovations for one of their moderators. Now this is proofed for 357 Magnum. This with a 38 Special in there is extremely quiet. I mean, it's not as quiet as the Delisle obviously, but it's still fantastic to shoot and very, very comfortable. Uh, moving on, I have a little GSG 1911 Gen 2. Andy Haynes did a fantastic job on this, extremely happy with it. He carbon wrapped the barrel and the coat hanger, did some work on the internals as well, the triggers being reworked, uh, Magpul furniture makes it so easy to grip and get straight onto the controls. If you don't have mass, if you've got big hands, it's super easy to get, but little hands like mine, it's not easy. Um, absolute ripper of a little gun to shoot great great fun i haven't gone to many competitions with this i've done um, some training days fantastic gun all the all nonetheless cerakote as well which does make a difference when you're trying to rack the slides um and yeah this has just been such a fantastic gun to go out and shoot really really fun now moving on i did have for my first gun i had a spikes tactical ar-15 is the uh, ST22. Wayne at Northwest Custom Parts did a great job in helping me get started. A lot of people in the UK get started with their grandpa's air rifle or shotgun, then they get into it. Me, my father's American, I had to get started with an AR-15. It'd be kind of wrong if I didn't. Uh, this is my new project I'm getting started with. It's a Chris Defiance upper and lower. I asked the importer to take everything off and then I'm just going to do it myself. So at the minute I've got a Vortex Razor AMG, fantastic optic for what I need. Um, just easy Magpul furniture, stuff I had left over. I have a lot of Geisley parts in the way, the supercharging handle, the MK8 rail. I have the, Vo uh, the VQ barrel on its way. Um, super dynamic flat triggers. I've got some Odin uh, trigger, um, fire controls on the way, Magpul. No, not Magpul, the, the um, Smith & Wesson 1522 mags are be coming. I've not decided if I'm going to suppress this at the minute. I'm probably not for what it's needed, for its role's going to be. But honestly, this is something to look out for uh, in the future. And I'm super excited to get started. If uh, everything starts coming in and I'm not waiting in line for it. This is something that always gets people's attention. Now, this is a uh, Lee Enfield action. It's a Mark III star made in 1918 in Australia. Uh, the work done to convert this to a Delisle was done by Alistair at Calibre Innovations. Fantastic guy. I've done a lot with him over the years. Absolute joy to work with. Thank you very much for this, Alistair. Now, the story is behind why I had this uh, made is my father and has never been a big pro-gun person. He was adamant that I don't get started in the sports. 
and I wanted something that him and myself could go down to the range together and have a lot of fun with. So I wanted something quiet, cheapish to shoot, comfortable for him, and something him and I could always go out together and uh, have some fun with. So this is <laughs> a very special story to this. It goes back to World War II. I'm not sure the history on it at the minute. I know, um, what's his name, Ian at um, In Range TV does a fantastic job explaining the history. Go to him, please. He does a great job going through uh, where this whole design came from. Uh, as you can see, it's been Cerakoted black. That's to keep the internals clean because living in Wales. Rain is a daily occurrence and that's always been a pain trying to keep guns rust and clean free. Um, 12 and a half inch barrel on the inside, obviously that's um, section one laws. Uh, this entire section here is a moderator, especially with 45 being subsonic. I th haven't tested this out, but I think it's about 90 plus decibels. So super quiet, hearing safe. It's always good to wear hearing protection, even with suppressed guns. Um, uses 1911 style magazines. So you can get the, <laughs> I've been trying to get the 12, even the 15 round extended magazine. I think it'll be ridiculous, but hey, I've got to try it. Absolute joy to shoot. He comes out shooting with me for a minute. You can probably notice there's no rear sight on this. There's just the holes tapped for it. I'm having one fabricated, so it goes back to as close as original spec as it can be. So very, very excited to get this back on the road. And it's just great to take my dad out and go shooting together. Uh, moving on down, this is another gun done by Andy Haynes. This is a Mossberg 930 JMP section one shotgun and probably my only one for a little while now since I had such trouble with the last uh, box fed one. I won't get into that. Um, he did work on the internals, um, recessed the loading gate, did some work on the gas system, Cerakoted it as well. Uh, improve the trigger. It, it's an absolute fantastic gun to shoot. It's super easy to load. It's a great starting point with the Mossbergs. I know a lot of people go into like the Benelli M2s, which are great guns themselves, but I wanted something to get started with PSG. You don't, you don't know you're going to be good at something or even going to enjoy it until you get yourself your own section one and get yourself down there to clubs and to events. I really enjoy it. I'm getting more and more into it the minute. I'm waiting for some... Um, uh, some more equipment to come in and yeah i'll be <laughs> if you see me out in the circuit and you see me with this come say hi help me because i'm probably going to need it but uh yeah i'm all up for it and i'm ready to have some great fun with it now last but not least is something very special uh over the past few years you probably noticed there's been a big demand on cryptocurrency now i invested a year to 40 months ago with ethereum and as it was going on well, I invested a little bit more. I sold it just before Christmas when we had the latest dip or uh, market stabilization as it's known as. And because of that, I was able to pick up something very special. This is a Desert Deck SRS A1 chambered in 308. And with a 24, 22 inch barrel, I have to check. Um, I have some fantastic range time with this. It's always a gun that gets people's attention. And especially if I'm out on the range and you want to come over, say hi, you want to try this or try the desert, uh, sorry, the Delisle or the Winchester, happy to come over, have a chat. I'd love to see, love to see who's out there. Um, so starting at the front, I've got a two chamber break from ASE with a quick detach moderator. Um, very, very quiet, very easy to shoot, really easy system. I mean, that's a short package for a gun that you can take with, with 308, 60, 800 meters, even further if you're a much better shot than me. And it's just a fantastic rifle overall. Coming down, I've got a Atlas bipod. I think I'm gonna change this in the future just because I wanna get that Phoenix, what's the word? It's like an overhanging, um, bipod that keeps the weight down. Great for um, recoil management. Uh, this is one you really don't see a lot of on this side of the pond. It's called a quiver. Uh, the quiver des is designed for PRS style stages, so with practical, um, no, precision rifle series, sorry. And some stages dictate that you can only have X amount of ammunition on you and what's ever on the gun. So if you say you need two rounds at the final part of a stage, 
you've got it here, straight out, straight into the action, and you're away. You give yourself a little more extra uh, breathing space on stages. That's one thing I believe TIFF at Roundhouse Firearms are going to be uh, doing uh, soon. They're going to be doing more PRS-style matches in the UK. Coming back, I've got a spur mount on here. Fantastic. Brilliant, brilliant bits of kit. Um, and also on top, I've got a Vortex AMG. I, I've always been a Vortex fan. The warranty is uh, a good selling point, but when you go into the AMG range of glass, I personally, I could have bought a Schmitten Bender. I could have gone Night Force, and I just chose Vortex. I've had such great service uh, with them over the years. The glass is impeccable. It's a fantastic optic for what I need. Perfect for what I, my rolls. Um, the trigger on the Desert Techs are fully adjustable, which is great. I think this is now out the box at two and a half. You can get it all the way down to one and a half. It's a bit too low for me, but otherwise, ah, it's just fantastic out the box. Now, yeah, I know it's a bullpup. People think it's quite difficult when you're, you're up on a target to work yourself back, but it really isn't. You know, a couple of uh, magazines, you're in a way. Um, the extended butt pads as well, because the length of pull is a bit of an issue if you're a big guy. But honestly, with these little adjustments, it's a fantastic gun to shoot. Uh, rear bipod, monopod, sorry, uh, pops out. So you've got yourself a really good stable platform. I use a bag at the minute because I just find it so much easier. Um, so yeah, that's everything I have. I've got no other projects on the minute. I'm putting my money aside at the moment. Um, yeah, so if you guys ever see me out on the course or any range and you want to come over and say hi and have a shoot on anything I have, Please come over, say hi. I'd love to see everyone and have a chat. Um, special thank you again to Gunroom TV for having me down here. We're going to hopefully have some fun with these, these guns later today, given the weather is going to be better. It doesn't look great at the minute, but we'll have to see. And yeah, stay tuned and um, hope to see you soon.